this is the plaintiff, Ashley Graves. She says she hired the defendant to photograph her wedding in October 2016. And to this very day, she has received nothing viable from this scoundrel. That's right. She has a few unedited photos on a DVD. She can't utilize them in any way. And this guy simply doesn't have his act together. And she wants a full refund and then some in the amount of $2,000. This is the defendant, Don Ashton. He says this woman's simply impossible to deal with because nothing, and he means nothing, can make her happy. He has sent her pictures on DVDs. She never gets back to him with her edit comments, and there's simply nothing more he can do to accommodate her. Give her a full refund for all the work he's done? Dealing with this nightmare? No way. He's accused of not getting a clear picture of things. All parties, please use your hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock, the plaintiff hired the defendant to photograph her wedding and got terrible pictures, zilch. But the defendant says nothing can make this woman happy. It's the case of Bridezilla without photos. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, Ashley Graves, you yes. are suing Don Ashton and picture this photography for $2,000 that you want uh, refunded to you. 1500 and some change, the cost of the package and $453 to hire someone else, I guess just to bring you to an even 2000 to hire someone else to uh, finish up the job he didn't do. Tell me what's going on here. Uh, well, Mr. Ashton was hired to do my wedding photography. Okay, and what happened? He, took, he was there, he, sh he did show up at the wedding to do the photos. Well, before that you meet him and you sign a contract, right? Uh, yeah, we met a couple of times before I officially decided to hire him, though. Okay. And so do you have a copy of the contract that you signed? Yes. May I see it? No package selected at the time, but then a package was selected, right? Yes. Okay. What was the total charge for the package selected, according to you? That was about um, just short of $1,500. All right, so the, so the figure's 1471.25. Now, he comes to the wedding, he takes pictures. Are there two photographers? No, there okay. was only one. There was only one photographer. Now, the contract says two photographers. That is correct. So what the, happened? The day of, uh, my assistant uh, child had uh, issues, so she couldn't make it that particular day. So why didn't you get somebody else? It was that day of. Wow, um, because it makes a difference. Two different people taking pictures has a lot more pictures to choose from. All right, so now, where in your contract does it say how long he'll take to get you stuff? It doesn't. Well, that would worry me. Uh, where in your contract do you say how long you'll take to get her stuff? Well, I have a verbal agreement there letting so them know. So it doesn't what, say it in your contract? Correct. So I let them know two to three day, two, two to three weeks after the wedding, those are posted up online for them to actually take a view. And did that happen in this yes. case? All of them? All yes. of your pictures? All of the raw footage was posted online, edited or not edited? Not edited. Okay. And then did you see it two to three weeks later? I did see the online link that he did provide me, and um, I did uh, look at it, and at that time I had asked him what would be a good time to go over the um, enlargement selection and album selection. Okay, when did you meet and do that? In February. February 18th. Why did it take so long? The wedding was in October. It, I had a... Uh, were I had you reached busy out to or he busy? Both of us was busy, I guess. So, so just, you get together in February and you tell them which ones you want. And then what yes. happened? I reached back out to him in, in March. You reached out to him in March and what happened? Uh, he sent me an email back. He did uh, correspond back to me saying, oh, I'm working on it. Uh, okay, so then in April, what happened? April 15th, uh, he, did I did, he did send the first album. Um, so it was up to me to approve it if I like it. I didn't like it because he didn't do the edits that I had asked him to do when we met Which on the 18th. Which were what? My complaint was that I didn't like it. I um, gave him a couple of things that I didn't like. It was a couple of things that were out, out of sequence that I felt, um, a couple of photos that, okay. I didn't, that I didn't want in there. Okay. And I do have the response so to that. So you gave him your, and then what did he do? He sent another book that I was unable to view. When did he send that? He sent that one on May 8th. What, if any, contact have you had with him since May 8th of last year? I haven't. I haven't had contact with him you until, had, okay, until why August not? 30th. Why haven't you guys had contact in a year? He has not reached out to me. Every Have you time, reached out every to him time, and he yes. has ignored you? No, because I was looking for him to follow up with me okay. about the second album. Okay, so can I ask you a question? This lady got married October of 2016. Why haven't you done stuff? I, did, I have. 
Well, what have you done? Quite a bit. I've designed, again, designed the uh, online album for her review before we went. Hold on. Is that the storybook or is that a different album? There's one was supposed to be for a uh, parent's album and one for her. So did you ever put together her wedding album? We never got to that point. What do you mean we never got to that point? You're the guy who got paid to get to that point. If the, what was the last contact you two had? Prior to that day or recently. What was the last contact you had with a client who you owed a wedding album, a canvas portrait, two 11 by 14 portrait prints, a parent album, two cu custom designed eight gigabyte jump drives with wedding images, when was the last con because you owe the rest of this contract. When that was is the correct. last time you say, hey, we gotta get together, we gotta finish this. When was that? Early part of September. Okay, tell me about that. What contact is, was there in September? Basically, uh, getting to understand where she at with Who the process. Who contacted whom? Show me what you're looking at. Is that an email? Yes. Okay, and it's from who to who? From me, on the here, to her. Okay, let me see it. And that's her response. No, that's actually you who contacted him again on August 30th. Hello, it has been a while. I would like to follow up with my wedding photos from October 22nd, 2016. This is on August 30th of 2017. Please provide the photos by September 9th. If you have any questions, call me. Then you say, greetings. Yes, it has been a while. If your address has not changed, I will have your zip drive mailed out. At this point, I can offer 15 8 by 10 prints with the other selected from your... Why? Why don't you just do what the bride wanted? And, I and attempted to three times. What are you times. talking about? From September 1st, basically you blew her off May 8th. There's no evidence of any contact with, between you and her from May 8th to August 30th. And what happens August 30th is she reaches out to you. And your answer is, yes, it has been a long time. Well, since you didn't like what I sent you back in May, I'll give you 15 other photos. Like, what is that about? You have a contract with her and stuff you're supposed to do. Her answer to that is, no, the albums were not. I was never able to view the second album. Album. It never loaded properly, so I don't know what's in it. The first album had photos I asked to be edited and weren't, in addition to the event sequence issues. And what happens after that on September 1st? I sent him another email. He didn't, I didn't get that, that flash drive and DVD until November 1st. Oh my gosh. And so you get the flash drive and a DVD, and what's the problem with the DVD? The problem with the DVD is that it has the wrong wedding date on it. Okay, so it says what? It says October 18, 2016. And your wedding was October 22nd? Yes, ma'am. As every email you've sent to him says, and as he should know. So where you been? What happened? April of 2017, I, well, East, Easter Sunday, I had my studio broken into three times that week to totally wipe me out of everything how did that you, was How there. was your studio broken into three times? So, okay, be honest with me here. Can brides, are brides ever really happy about their weddings? Um, honestly, I think yes. I think what makes it stressful is the fact that they're planning this for other people, and sometimes it doesn't get to be about themselves. So do they blow things out of proportion when something doesn't go wrong? Of course, because it's a very special day. You put a lot of effort into it, a lot of money, and it's a very stressful event, so of course. Isn't there something fundamentally flawed here that you have a very special day that is so stressful that you can't enjoy it and spend a lot of money? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? It doesn't matter. Can I just tell you what I'm thinking right now? Sure. You look so much like a woman who is the star, an actress who's the star of the affair. She actually won an Emmy for it. I'm... Do you, do you watch the show? No. It's fabulous. Uh, going inside the courtroom. We had a string of uh, robberies in that our area. And what? What does that have to do with her if everything is digital? Where are the ladies' pictures? Right here. What, and what? On the zip drive. Okay, may I see the zip drive? Do you mind coming up here with the computer? <sighs> Honestly. How many pictures are we gonna see here? Well, we, there's actually a total over 400. Uh, and images. are these edited or not edited? They are edited. All 400 are edited? Correct. Okay, let me see them. Who is this fine man? Is that your husband? Yes, it's not. You <laughs> lucky, lucky girl. <laughs> okay. Now, these are the, are the pictures, the engagement photos you kids took, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so have you seen these? Other than seeing them online. Okay, so you've seen these? Yes. Okay. 
Have you seen the bridal photos online? Yeah. I've seen the bridal photos online. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So do you have the 459 uh, pictures that he took? No. Okay, why not if your computer can download? Because he has them on his website, the website that where you would gotcha. order the prints from, and okay. everything has a watermark. Okay, I got you. Where was your wedding? At the Hyatt Riverfront in where? Jacksonville, Florida. It was on the St. John's River. Beautiful. Ooh, what's with the masks? It was a masquerade. Cool. Anybody fool you? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't I'm, like I'm that. I'm going to venture to say the guy with the mohawk, with the Mr. T thing going, did not fool anybody. Yeah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't that deep. It was a like, simple sort of. So. Yeah, I know. That's cute. Thank you. Who's that? That's me. <laughs> That's my brother. OK, you can go back. When did you put these on this uh, thing? That was early after the wedding. Once we did that, those were, that uh, zip drive was ordered with that. Why would you not have sent that to her if she was having difficulty opening your website and getting attachments? No, no. Why the, wouldn't you make do? Why wouldn't you find a way to give the woman what she needed, which were these albums? And the digital albums that you compiled are where? Are they in the same zip drive or somewhere no, else? No. That yeah. is online using the company, my publisher, which went out of business. So, and in, in basically utilizing the images that's on the zip drive to process the wedding album. Now I'd like to see, do you have that saved somewhere? Or they went out of business and so did your... They went out, and that's why you... That's Wait, does that mean to... you don't have it now? You don't have the album? Correct. That's so she doesn't, if you don't have the album, she certainly doesn't have the album. Correct. That's why So was... what do we have? We have one photographer, not two, and 459 pictures that according to you have all been edited. I'm not sure all of them have been edited. That is correct. Okay. Because there's a section of, well, that has just for the album itself. How many photos got edited for the album? I want to say close to 45. That's it? Okay. Correct. So of the contract that she signed with you for 14 something, what has been complied with is photographs were taken and 40 something of them were edited? Correct, for the Anything album. Anything else? And the DVD that was done, the zip drive is done. Well, the DVD has the wrong wedding date. Correct, oh. that's correct. The videos are on that zip drive as well. It's been corrected on the zip drive? Correct. Okay, so the question becomes what, if any, uh, is she entitled to as a refund for not getting several of the things that she expected to get? So I am going to order a portion of her money returned to her so she can hire someone else to do the things that are missing. And I'm, when I set that figure, understand that litigation is an art and not necessarily a science, I'm going to be taking into consideration how long this lady has had to wait for her pictures and how much trouble she had to go through to get a response from you. My verdict is in your favor, not in the amount that you're asking for, because you did have a wedding photographer and you do have 500 pictures. Um, you know, and you did have two photo sessions, so you don't get 25% more than what you paid out, given back to you. I'm going to order $1,000 return to you. That should be plenty for you to be able to hire somebody to do the work that needs to be done that's remaining. Verdict for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,000 plus her filing fee. You get this now, and good luck to you. I'm sure you'll be able to do a beautiful job with what you got here. Thank okay? you, ma'am. So the plaintiff prevails. The defendant's going to have to give her $1,000. But I can't believe you. You can't have been surprised to get sued, have you? Were you? A little. Why? Due to the fact the time, and I understand that the whole time of getting her the images were a, a factor. And a half. Understand. Ooh, a long time. But if you, <laughs> putting the digital images together takes time. Not that much. Not a year and a half. <laughs> but there's you know more, that. There, but there is more that took place of trying to accommodate a no, client. I, this is, doesn't make you look good. You know what I mean? The it's, whole case. It, it's Would okay. you agree? I know what I attempted to do. Okay. And I will stick to that. Okay. Well, All right. thank you very much. Ms. Graves, why did you wait so long to come to court? Uh, I was really hoping he'd come through, but he kind of let me down when he didn't respond back to me yeah, in as December. Just said, you are so patient. Yeah. <laughs> you are a patient lady. It's, it's, I mean, I, even though I won, I still lost because I'm the one stuck with the memory of my wedding. So. Yeah. What are you going to do with the pictures now? 
I'm going to get them printed out. You are? Okay. <laughs> you are still married to the same guy, right? Yeah. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. You have assigned a few documents outside. Okay. okay. Thank Good you. luck to you. <laughs> Harvey. Okay. So here's the trick. Two things. Um, one is that you write time is of the essence in a contract. If time is really important, those are magic legal words. Time is of the essence. Second thing is this. The actress is Maura Tierney. Okay? And you look a lot like Maura Tierney, and that's a good thing. Uh, that'll do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.